Here's a tutorial about spawning actors with Unreal Engine 4. For this I created models with Blender, exported them as FBX and imported them again to Unreal Engine 4. Then I assigned the materials, created the necessary blueprints and spawn a lot of these models, spiders in my case, at a certain target point. This is the Blender Cycles render of the models I created a simple pipe and two glass objects. I added an empty root object at the center of the scene and the other three objects are children of this root object. Here you can see the pipe, a simple cylinder, a box, very basic objects. Okay, the important part is the objects have separate materials. So let me show you the class material first. Open the node editor and here is the class shader setup. I added a mix shader, a class shader and a translucent and then I combine this with a diffuse to give this class a slight green color. The pipe has just a glossy shader that comes out of the box. Okay, and now let's export the models out right into the directory of an Unreal Engine 4 project I created. So select the root object. You can see it contains the three sub-objects. And now I choose export FBX and I select just the mesh and selected objects and export this as I call this spider utils strange name by the way and yeah exported this directly into the models directory of my Unreal Engine 4 project and now let's open the spider project here is an animated spider and I selected the model and the armature and then I do exactly the same, export it as FBX to this directory, but in this case I selected Armature and Mesh and selected Objects. And that's all you have to do to export the models as FBX and now let's switch to Unreal Engine 4. Let's first start the scene so that you can see the end result and after that I will show you the steps you have to do to create it. Okay, here you can see it, a lot of spiders falling out from this particular point here. Looks like they are coming out of this pipe. Okay, I think you got the idea. So let's see how to create this. First, let's have a look at the imported models. For example this one. When I drag it here right into the scene you see it's really big we have to scale it a little bit down. Okay like this and now let's come to the materials. You can see there are two materials added to this object the glass and the metal I created with Blender but you can also go ahead and just assign different materials. For example, for the class here, you can use this one. This is a material I downloaded from Michael Orselek. I added the link to the description of the video, but you can also use the starter pack, for example, the starter content and select a different material like I do here for, for the pipe. I use a metal material like this. Okay. So really simple, you don't have to use textures for this and that's what I wanted to try out just to define materials and use materials in Unreal Engine 4 for the exported ones. Now I double click the model and let's have a look at the colliders. Check the collision here and, and the colliders are so-called mesh colliders and this can be done by using the following option. Use complex collision as simple. For this tutorial I went this way but you can also use for example box colliders or something like that. 
Okay, let's have a look at the spider model, double click it and here you can see that a texture is assigned. I copied this texture to the model directory and when we open up here the material editor you can see that this is a very simple material. I just added the texture and plugged it here into the base color. So the next step, what we need for this spider, it's a skeletal mesh, we need a physics asset. Right click onto the spider and choose physics asset, create and assign. I had some problems with the default bone size, so I reduced this to 0.1. And actually I don't need this uh, for every bone, but I need this physics asset. So what I do is uh, I open up the physics asset Select all the generated colliders and remove them because I will handle the physics and the collision aspects in a blueprint that I will add later. Here you can have a look at the animation that is imported. It contains only one animation. And now I will show you the blueprint I added for the spider. You can do this here by creating a blueprint class of type actor. And for this one, let's open up the Blueprint Editor. I added a box to simulate the physics and also another collider, a sphere, just to have a little bit more randomness when this spider is colliding with other spiders or with the environment. And what I do now is I select the box and I'm searching for the collision. You can also use the search box here and type in collision or col. Okay, and I set this collision presets to block all so that the spiders will uh, collide with the environment with every spider with the character. And I also want to go ahead and search for physics and check simulate physics. And then my spiders will fall down taking gravity into account. Okay, and now the last thing is to let the spiders spawn from a target point. Okay, now let's let's remove this what I already added here and do this together. Create a new target point and a new target point blueprint. So remove it. Okay, and now let's add a new target point. Type in target and drag it here into the scene to the end of this pipe so that it looks like that these spiders are coming out of this pipe. Okay, and now let's add a new blueprint. Call this target point blueprint. And open up the blueprint editor. Open the full editor. And now let's use the event tick function. This is called for every frame of the game cycle, but we want to delay, delay this. So I will add a delay of, let's say, 400 milliseconds. This should be enough. And every 400 milliseconds, I want to spawn an actor. Which actor? I want to spawn my spider. So choose spawn actor from class and choose the blueprint we created, the spider actor blueprint. And that's all. Now the only thing we have to define is at which location we want to spawn the spiders. So choose get actor location and connect this with spawn transform. And now this should already work. Compile this and start the game. And yes, here are my spiders spawned out of this pipe. Okay, but I see that the rotation isn't like I want it to be. So I can change this in my blueprint. Just add a make transform and connect the location we already defined and change the rotation to 180 x-axis and 90 degrees c-axis. And again compile and start again. That's what we were going for. Great, I really hope you like this tutorial 
If you like my channel, please let me know and subscribe. Here's the link. And here's also a link to a previous tutorial about Unreal Engine 4 that might be interesting for you as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys and see you soon here on my channel.